Hello everyone, welcome to another final element method tutorial. And today we are going to learn how do we design the thickness of a disk. So here's a problem statement. Considering we have a rotating disk, <clears throat> sorry, a static state disk, which is under a pressure loading from the wing. The wing has a velocity of, a, of 100 mile per hour which the dynamic pressure should be calculated by one half of rho v squared. And using the metric uh, units, it should be around 1481.1 Pascal. The diameter for the disk is around 200 inches, uh, sorry, 400 inches, which means the radius is 200 inches, around 5.08 meters. And the disc is made of aluminum. Uh, <clears throat> the density for aluminum is 27 kilograms per meter cube. The Young's modulus is 67.8 gigapascal. The Poisson's ratio is 0.3, while the strength of the aluminum is around three, uh, 345 megapascal. Since this plate is pretty large, we need to consider, we need to also consider the weight of the plate. So in this case, we are going to see how do we apply the <clears throat> gravity to the plate. Also, uh, I forgot to mention the boundary condition. We are going to simply support the age of the disk. First, set your working directory to the folder you want, and now create a part. So although this is a disk, which is simply a circle, but still we need to use the 3D model since we're going to apply load in the third dimension. And it should be a 3D deformable, and we're going to use shell element to simulate that. And the approximate size is <clears throat> around the diameter, which is around 10. So now we create the circle. The cent centroid of the circle should be zero, zero, and uh, select a point, which is 5.080. Now we create our property, create aluminum. We first, in the general, we create the density for aluminum, which is 2700. And in mechanical elastic, the Young's modulus for aluminum, 67.8 gigapascal, Poisson's ratio 0.3. Create section. Here we are going to use shell element. So it's a shell. Call it a shell section. And we include the shell thickness here. Since we don't know the thickness, so we input the preliminary gas for the shell thickness. Let's say um, like a 0.01 meters, which is one centimeter. And now we assign the shell section to the entire thing. We don't need to create sections, so we can uncheck this box. And choose to assign the thickness from the section. And then we need to decide the, assign the material orientation. So to assign material orientation first, we create a datum axis, which is cylindrical, because the original uh, coordinate system is uh, rectangular, but we want a cylindrical system for that. I call it, uh, just leave it datum axis one. And we can leave everything default and cancel. Now we can assign the material orientation. First, select the objects we want and choose this from the data coronary system list. 
and choose the one we just created. Now you can see that all the axis one is pointing in the radial direction while axis two is pointing at a tangential direction. Axis three, which is the normal axis. And then the material is assigned. And remember, whenever you use a shell element, you should make sure where is the positive uh, face. So long click and select the last one here uh, to assign the memory normal. And the default is uh, brown is positive, purple is negative. So you want the positive to be pointing at a positive axis. So this is what we want. If your memory direction is opposite, then you need to flip it by clicking the down buttons here. But now we don't need to do anything to it. And after you assign the property, we create the simulation simulated uh, instant. Uh, independent and it looked like this. So then we create a simulation simulation step, which should be a static simulation and static general and leave everything defaults. And then in the load, first we apply boundary condition to the initial step is simple support. Simple supported is ping. So we choose the all the boundary here and then choose the ping here. So the membrane or the shell is pinged. Now we apply the load. Load should be applied to the step. It cannot be applied to initials. So first load we have is uh, dyne dynamic pressure, we choose pressure here. The pressure choose the plate and then we assign the pressure from the top or the positive direction. So choose brown here and enter the magnitude. The pressure is 1481.1. Should be pointing downward. And then we need to assign the gravity. Gravity. Here we can choose the gravity. And this is basically you need to enter your gravity constant in different direction. So our play is going to be put uh, vertically. So the gravity should be pointing also downward, which is negative Z direction with a gravity constant 9.8. So it should be zero, zero minus 9.8. You can see that the yellow, uh, yellow arrow representing where the gravity should be applied on. And then we go to the mesh and in the mesh control here, choose the sweep so that we can have a more uniform meshed and it should be called a uh, quadratic domain uh, dominated uh, mesh method. So then we choose the element type here. And originally is S4R, which is reduce the integration of a four node uh, double curved shell. So we change it to a quadratic element, which is S8R. So you have eight nodes for your a shell element. Now we can assign global seed. Originally it's 1.4. So we can make it 0.1. If you want it finer, you can even make it 0.05. But it depends on how many elements you're going to generate. For example, here, in total, I have 64 thousands of elements, which may be, a, may be too much for you. Because the number of nodes, this number, like 
almost multiplied by eight. So if you want it to be coarser, uh, let's do it coarser. Reassign this to be 0 0.01, uh, sorry, 0 0.1. and mesh again. Now it's coarser. So then we can create our job. R1, because we don't know the thickness. This is our first trial. Can submit. Wait until the status file or the message file is done, which means your input file was checked correctly. Nothing wrong, so is the input file is correct and everything is done now. So we can see, we can check the results. To check the results, uh, choose the option, choose the common, and uh, choose this free edges, apply. And then we can select this to plot the contour plot. So you have everything. You have uh, choose the stresses, choose uh, either wall misses or maximum uh, or pr maximum principal stress. It depends on which failure criterion you're using. If you, if you want to use the uh, maximum shear stress principle, then probably use maximum principle absolute. So if you choose the maximum distortion energy uh, the criterion, then you need to use one Mises. Let's do one Mises here. So for one Mises, we can see the maximum is around 5.576 e to the power of eight, which is, uh, this is 3.45 e to the power of eight. So this is way larger than the, than the maximum allowable stress, which means we need to increase the thickness so if the plate gets thicker, then the stress is going to be smaller. So inside, to try the other uh, thickness, you can directly go to your property in your section. We can edit the section, change the thickness here. Instead of 0.01, we make it 0.02, so double the size. So then you can directly go to your job and let's create another one is trial two. We're going to compare these two values, see what happens when you change the thickness. So again, turn on your monitor, make sure that there's no mistakes in your problem settings. Now show it in your results. And we can open another window here and then use this tools to have two windows. The first one, we are going to show the first result, trial one. Second one, we're going to show the trial two result. Make sure the name is what you want. And we can link this two together, show the X, Y direction, and then show the contour plots. You can see that the trial one with the one centimeter thickness, the maximum stress is 5.576. While trial two with the two centimeter cases, the stresses, maximum one meter stress is 1.605 uh, uh, ma maximum. So this is smaller than 3.45, while this is way larger than 3.45.
you can see that the maximum von Mises stress is not in a linear relation with the thickness. So we need to have several trial and errors. For example, it should be somewhere, we should change the thickness. It should be something between one and two. So let, let's try one five. Keep repeating the results until finally we have the solution we want. Okay, so in your file two, now you can see the maximum is 2.66, it's getting close to your, uh, to your strength of aluminum. So, but this is still smaller than the strength of aluminum. So you can even make your shell thinner. <clears throat> so that's how we, use abacus to design the thickness of the disk. <clears throat> Hope that this can help you. <clears throat>